So, um, my name is Paddy Critchley and I'm from Port Leash, County Leash. I'm currently based in Limerick and I'm just after finishing um, my degree in fine art painting from LSAD. Um, so I'm a painter, um, I work mostly with painting and photography um, and also sculpture. Um, I'm interested in time and theatre and the connection between life and the theatre stage. Um, so recently a lot of my work has been heavily based and influenced by Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett and how I try and link these things together. I treat my canvases as one act plays and the elements within my still life paintings are very much protagonists and the canvas themselves are kind of plays in a sense. Um, so yeah, lighting, I make still lifes and I use photography to photograph them and I use an overhead light projectors to light them so that it really looks as if the objects are on an actual kind of stage themselves. Um, kind of installation then would be a big part of my practice too. So because work is so heavily referenced in theatre, um, just recently I, I kind of put on a exhibition play in the Dunnett Mace Art Centre on the theatre stage and I kind of lit the stage with Piketty and lighting and I installed the works in two acts so the curtain would open and the artworks were on the stage as if it was an actual play and then it closed and then act two came on. So obviously trying to tie in um, that element of my work as a whole so the, the, the artworks kind of find themselves within that space. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what drives me to create my art. Um, I don't know, it's just, I feel like I have to make work. Um, I absolutely love painting. I love artwork, I love film, I love all sorts of art. Um, Joseph Boys have been interested in lately. I just, there's something kind of fascinating about how people tell stories and how people communicate or voice opinions or even just allude to kind of beauty or tragedy or different aspects of life that um, can't really be communicated or heard or seen in any other way, I think. And I, I just think artwork, art is just so strong. And also the whole history of art, like in the likes of the Prada in Madrid, when you've got El Greco and Gaia paintings, who are probably two of my favorite painters. And kind of the idea of time that is so heavily involved in my practice, where you've got these guys who painted hundreds of years ago and kind of different ways that they would have shown a lot of kind of religious imagery or especially Gaia's black paintings, his kind of idea of humanity and it was just lovely to kind of see how they interpreted it and obviously just the way they painted and styles that they had and colours they used and it's just it's fascinating. Sure. Uh, my work definitely changed be I suppose with lockdown, actually, funnily enough, um, because I, I was a, I would have called myself a landscape kind of abstract painter, um, and I, the themes are the very same. <clears throat> it's I'm interested in time. I'm interested in this kind of uh, transient kind of within our lives, and I guess when I couldn't, when I had to stay in Port Leash town, and I. 5k limit and I couldn't, like everywhere I was going was just more buildings and concrete jungle kind of thing. So I couldn't get out to places I love like Connemara, Clare, the Burren, places like this that are just so beautiful and kind of like, I don't know, just magical in a sense. And I love that, but when it kind of happened that I couldn't do that, um, and just through reading and different ideas, I kind of took the elements of what I was using and said, how can I still keep going with this? And as I, I read Wait and Forgot for the first time last summer, and I was just kind of um, enthralled by this. This is 
just kind of spoke to me and I said, and then the more as I kind of worked through the year, um, I found myself looking at things with this kind of idea of a theatre, and I really I love theatre, I was re I really want to go and see a play, but obviously this thing is kind of gone to the window, like, yeah, of but um, yeah, and then I just kind of start painting still lifes and staging them, and then it just kind of was working that things I wanted to say when I was painting these mad kind of abstract paintings, things I wanted to say and feelings I had towards it, this was kind of just a more a stronger way to show these things or to get my point across and I just think it's stronger as well and also um, not that I want to show off but I am enjoying the actual painting process more um, I think the paintings are stronger and I'm enjoying it because I would like to say I'm a very much a painter's painter and I just love the painting so yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's definitely suiting my way of working. I think, like, in the sense that, I don't know, in a theatre, say, for example, Vladimir and Estragon and Waiting for God are kind of waiting for this guy to come and just the kind of nonsense talk through it or during it and to kind of go away and then they're waiting and waiting and then you're, someone tells them he's not going to come but they kind of, oh, fuck's it, and then they'll, they'll wait again the next day, and it's kind of like, I don't know, I kind of took that as our life, and said, what am I waiting for, I don't know, I just kind of, so you're not kind of waiting for something to happen, maybe, and you're going, and maybe you're, oh, I'm going to be the fucking best artist in the world, or I'm going to be the best soccer player in the world, and you're just going to stay going, but I don't know, maybe it doesn't come, maybe it does, and who knows, and then, even with relates, relates relationships, with friends, family, and, I don't know, I just kind of think that, for me to look at, say, somebody else and kind of think that they're kind of like a character or a protagonist within this whole massive play that other things are just playing out and people come and people go and people are here and then they're gone, where's the stage, the lights come on, it starts, something happens. Is that the same for we're born, something happens, we're gone, people come and go and life goes on.